Greetings YouTube neighbors. So I wanted to do another update on my Raven crossbow. So this is a R29, so it means 29 inches, basically tip to tail. Um, it's not the newest, I know they make a R29X, which has the, basically the silent crank system, and it shoots just a little bit faster if I remember the specs right. So, <clears throat> I still really like the crossbow. I was lucky enough on Halloween last year to shoot uh, a nice 10 point buck arrow. I, I didn't have to make a long shot. The buck right ran right towards me chasing a doe and uh, shot right through both shoulders. A uh, nice clean lung shot and it ran about 40 yards and tipped over. So for power and accuracy, I mean, I still give it an A. It, uh, my 308 doesn't blow through both sides of a buck. So. Um, that's one thing obviously I still really like about it. There are some other things that still uh, I think that Raven could do better. Obviously this crank system is awesome and I think the improvements they made to it to make it a completely silent crank system is an excellent choice and a, a great innovation. Uh, I will say with the scope one problem I frequently have is you know it has so much recoil when you pull the trigger on this that this cap will flip down every time and generally when I'm shooting I want to leave the caps on. I only open the caps if I absolutely cannot see through the scope. So I don't know if I just buy a different cap and try to make that work or if there's some smarter way to tighten this thing up so it doesn't want to come down. I'm half tempted just to take electrical tape and tape around it knowing that if I need to pull it off real quick I still could. I could just pull the electrical tape real quick. Um, I don't want to do anything like that. I try not to do anything too redneck engineered. Um, I want to keep it nice and operational. Uh, everything else still works great. You're going to notice there's a little bit of wear on the string. Um, it's going to be kind of hard to see on there, but there's a little bit of fraying, nothing major. Um, the big thing you need to pay attention to is the timing marks on the cams. So I'm trying to get you set up on the right angle there. You can see that it maybe is a hair out of time, but it's similar on both cams now. Uh, it's just those two little dots there. And that's the timing to make sure that the cams are basically synchronized um, when, it's, when they're pulling together that they actually reach uh, that point at the same exact time. Because if one gets to where it needs to before the other one, obviously it's going to power the arrow uh, differently. Still working on this system. I, I haven't found a way to find, fall in love with this. Basically, if this thing just had more play and would flare out further, it'd be better. Right now, the, the quiver that comes with it sits so close to the bow, um, you can't crank on the side which the quiver is on because it's too close to the crank. And that's, that's kind of an easy thing to fix. I haven't looked at anything on the aftermarket to see if they make something different. I know most people are pretty happy with the setup. And honestly, the way this thing screws into the rail mount is great because it's solid like a rock. I've never had an issue with my crank or quiver falling out of this thing. And it's, it's a very simple design on how this works. You basically press the button and it pops out. It's that easy. So generally when I'm hunting and when you're doing whitetail, most people are hunting from a stand. They're not ground stocking. And so I could just hang up the quiver uh, wherever I am and not really worry about it. It's not a problem. I, uh, I do want to bring this thing out west and do ground stocking with it. Um, I think it's going to be great at that, but it's going to be a little bit of challenge on how to get that to work. I will say when I shot the, the buck last year, um, I did not, I had the, the, I had this all the way forward grabbed onto the string. So I actually had to crank the bow back and load an arrow at the same time with having a four-year-old in the stand and the buck never noticed me. Um, I am in a covered stand. You could still hear through it and if I make too big of a step you can hear me but uh, I, I basically just use this crank to make it silent and it worked great. Um, I have no complaints about that. It's still very quick. I will say unfortunately uh, my shoulder has kind of deteriorated further which gives me less hope that someday I'll be able to use a compound bow again. Um, it's likely that I'm going to be a crossbow guy for life at this point, 
but um, this is a very nice replacement for that. I still enjoy it. Going out shooting is very nice. A one, one negative thing when you get a bow that's shooting a regular 425, this is one of the big differences between the crossbow and the compound bow market. Um, when this thing says it shoots 425, it actually means it really does shoot 425. It is shooting laser beams out of this thing. You can't aim at the same point twice because you will Robin Hood your own arrow and destroy your knocks. Um, it's nice that you can go to any store and buy these things, any basically hunting store, because they're so common now. Um, where with a bow, everything's got to be custom cut. And with a bow, you know, they, they do those FPS tests in such a way that it f makes the bow look better than it is. When you get a real user doing it, you're losing quite a bit of feet per second. It's not hitting the same way. Um, but when you shoot this thing at a, a self-healing target, it is so hard to yank the arrows back out of the target. I've basically given up on self-healing targets, and now I just buy the dense straw targets so I can still yank the arrow back out of the target. And uh, my targets just have a lifespan. That's just all there is to it. You can't, um, you can't keep shooting the same target with this because it is so powerful and destructive at the same time. It's still very accurate. Um... I would say at 100 yards, it's it's probably two MOA. It's sitting in there if you're really good at it and you're really paying attention to the wind. Um, and at, at 50 yards, it's it's rifle-like. It is The arrow gets there so fast. Um, I don't think a deer would have time to duck for it because a lot of times you notice when they hear the thwap of the string, they'll give a quick, they're ducking because they're going to get ready to jump. Um, I don't think they would have the time to actually do that. It would still get there before they would have that reaction. So I really like it. Um, I'm interested in the new Raven products. I think the next big innovation for them is figuring out something with this crank system where you never have to take it off, where it just basically sits on here and can fold out in some fashion. Or I think that's the next step for them, but this is still a very nice thing. Um, the scope is phenomenal. The lidded reticle is also awesome. Even the drops with how this thing adjusts is still spot on with it. Um, I'd still highly recommend Raven products. I, I haven't heard a lot of negative. And so that's one thing in the comments. If you've, you've had issues with yours, I always like to hear about that. I want to make sure people know if they have found some shortcomings with it or if you've found any really useful aftermarket products. Um, share the wealth. I think there's not a huge aftermarket industry like this because basically it's awesome. They sell a great package all in one. I, uh, I bought this um, sling. It's a quick adjust. So basically you can just cinch it up real quick if that's what you want or you can let it hang and then it's just braided 550 cord so it's softer on your shoulder. So if you have any questions, if you have any comments, any feedback, let me know. Um, I might do another shooting video or two just again to show what I'm shooting like even with the timing slightly out of alignment. I have not noticed it. I did notice the cams were a little bit out of alignment, but it hasn't affected performance yet. Um, it probably wouldn't hurt to get it restringed in the next year and maybe I will and maybe I'll treat myself and uh, just, just upgrade bows, but who knows. All right, thank you very much.